Chapter 3 Advanced Features of MS Word Learning Outcomes At the end of this chapter, students will be able to apply the styling features in MS Word. Inserting symbols and shapes Set the page margin, size, orientation and colors How to use scissors to improve vocabulary Warm up Can you make a friendship card? Ask your parents to allow you to use their computer and make a friendship card to celebrate the friendship day with your friends. Teachers not. With the help of the above activity, introduce the student to the advanced feature of MS Word 2016. Hi friends, let's learn about the advanced feature of MS Word. It helps us to learn various styling features. Microsoft Word 2016 is the most popular word processor developed by Microsoft Corporation. It is one of the world's largest companies in software development. Word 2016 has the ability to create, read, edit and share files at once very easily. Formatting can also be done in the documents. Let's further study the advanced features of MS Word 2016. MS Word Styles Styling is the process of altering the font's appearance in terms of size, color and themes. In MS Word, we can change the style of any text in a sentence or paragraph. Do you know? Using the design, a style option provided in the Styles drop-down list. You can build your own special styles. We can use the Styles option which include predetermined styles to quickly change the font style. Styling features can be applied to the following elements. Paragraph The outlook of a paragraph can be changed completely by changing its styling. A paragraph consists of different options like heading, quote, index, header, footer, bibliography, salutation, address and much more. Character the smallest element in a word document is a character. Linked content Linked content is a mix of paragraphs and characters. It has styles available for both paragraphs and characters. Let me answer. What is a paragraph? Ta table There are different table styles available such as plain table, grid table, list table, Colorful grid and many more. Or list. A list contains ordered and unordered list items. Follow the following steps to apply styles to a paragraph. 1. Select the desired paragraph. 2. In the style group, click on the more option. 3. A drop down containing different style options will appear. 4. Place the cursor over the desired style. 5. See the change in the selected text. Let me answer. Tell the comical formula which has a number as subscript. Subscript. You must have observed th after some numbers or some numbers like 2. After some letters in chemical formulas. Denoting a number or letter above or below the baseline makes it either a subscript or a subscript. The subscript option places the selected text slightly below the baseline and makes it appear smaller than the rest of the text. Follow the following steps to recreate a subscript. 1. Type the formula CO2 and select 2. 2. From the font group, select the subscript option. 3. You will notice that 2 will be placed below the baseline. Inserting symbols. Symbols are special characters. Follow the following steps to insert symbols. 1. Take the cursor to the point where you wish to insert the symbols. 2. Go to the symbol group in the insert tab and select the symbol button. 3. Pick a symbol of your choice or choose the more symbol options. 4. When you find the symbol of your choice, double click on it. The symbol will be inserted at the desired place. 6. Click on the cancel button. Undo and redo commands. 
एम एस वर्ल्ड टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन कीप्स अ रिकॉर्ड ऑफ ऑल द ऑल्ट्रेशन दैट वी डू इन अ डॉक्यूमेंट द अंडो कमांड अलाउज यू टू डिस्कार द मोस्ट रिसेंट चेंज द रीडो कमांड रिवर्स इज द मोस्ट रिसेंट चेंज मेड यूजिंग अंडो These buttons will appear in the Quick Access toolbar in Microsoft. By default, follow the following steps to undo the last action. One, on the Quick Access toolbar, click Undo. Alternatively, you can press Ctrl Z. Two, click the drop-down arrow next to Undo if you want to undo several actions at the same time. Follow the following step to redo the last action. One on the quick access toolbar click redo alternatively you can press control y page settings in word we have options for formatting the page and also for setting the page properties setting margins a margin is the amount of space between the text and the edge of the page the default margin are set at 1 from the top and bottom and one from the left and right edge of the page in word 2016 we can manually set the margin on all four sides of the document follow the following step to set the page margins one click on the layout tab two in the page setup group select the margin buttons three select the margin from the list or customize it as per your requirement Four. Type the values for top, bottom, left, and right margins. Five. In the Apply to drop-down list, choose the option Whole Document. Six. Click OK. Setting Paper Orientation. The property to set the printing direction of the text is called Page Orientation. It is of two types: Portrait and Landscape Orientation. The default orientation is portrait which is vertical. Follow the following steps to change the paper orientation to landscape horizontal. 1. Click on the layout tab. 2. In the page setup group, click on the orientation button. 3. From the drop down list, choose the landscape orientation. 4. The orientation of the page changes to landscape. setting page size in word 2016 different sizes of paper can be used to write a document follow the following step to change the page size of the word 1 click on layout tab 2 in the page setup group click on the size button 3 a drop down menu appears the current page size is highlighted 4 select the desired page size option Five. The size of the page will change. Working with shapes, Auto Shapes is a tool to help you draw objects on your document. There are many shapes such as lines, callout, equation shapes, and many more. Follow the following steps to insert a shape in the document. One. Click on the Insert tab. Two. In the illustration group select the shapes button. 3 A drop down menu will display it. 4 Click on the desired shape. 5 The mouse pointer changes to plus sign. 6 Take the plus sign to the desired place in the document and drag it to the add the shape. Placing text in a shape. Text can also be inserted in the shape. Follow the following steps to add text in a shape. 1. Select the shape you want to add text in. 2. Right click on it. 3. A pop-up menu appears. Select the add text option. 4. Now type the text in the placeholder. 5. Click outside the placeholder to complete the task. Thesaurus Microsoft Word includes a tool that enables you to perform synonym and antonym searches using the thesaurus. We can also look up for a suggestion of a word. Follow the following steps to use the thesaurus. 1. Select the word for which you want a synonym or antonym. 2. Click on the review tab. 3. In the proofing group, select the thesaurus option. 
Four, the research task pane appears with synonym in antonym. Five, choose the desired word and select the insert option. Six, the existing word will be changed with the new word. Drop cap effect. A drop cap, drop capital is a large capital letter used as a decorative element at the beginning of a paragraph or section. The size of a drop cap is usually two or more lines. There are two types of drop cap. Dropped option allow you to create a drop cap that fits within your paragraph. In margin, option allows to create a drop cap that is in the margin outside of your paragraph. Follow the following steps to apply drop cap effect. 1. Select the first letter of a paragraph. 2. Click on the insert tab. 3. Select drop cap button and the drop down menu appears. 4. Select either dropped or in margins as per your requirements. 5. Selected character will be changed. Header and footer. Information is added to the top and the bottom of each page using the header and footer respectively. Follow the following steps to add a header to your document. 1. Click on the insert tab. 2. In the header and footer, group select the header button. 3. A drop down menu appears, select the blank option. 4. A placeholder of the header will be displayed at the top margin of the document. 5. Click on the placeholder to add text. 6. In the close group, click on the close header and footer button. 7. Observe the top margin of the document. Follow the following steps to add a footer to your document. 1. Click on the insert tab. 2. In the header and footer group, select the footer button. 3. A drop down menu appears, select the blank option. 4. A placeholder of the footer will be displayed at the top margin of the document. 5. Click on the placeholder to add text. 6. In the close group, click on the close header and footer button. 7. Observe the bottom margin of the document. Removing header or footer. From the header drop down menu, select remove header to withdraw header. From the footer drop down menu, select remove footer to withdraw footer. Get IQ. Haman is writing an article for her school magazine. She wants to use advanced vocabulary such as the right option to her. Let's recall. Microsoft Word 2016 is the most popular word processor developed by Microsoft Corporation. Styling is the process of altering the font's appearance in terms of size, color and themes. The subscript option places the select text slightly below the base lines. A margin is the amount of space between the text and the edge of the page. Auto shape is a tool to help you draw objects on your document. Information is added to the top and bottom of each page using the header and footer respectively. Upskill your intelligence. A. Fill in the blanks. 1. Microsoft Word is the word processor developed by Dash. Answer. Microsoft Corporation. 2. The smallest element in a Word document is a dash. Answer. Character. 3. Linked content is a mix of dash and dash. Answer. Paragraphs and characters. 4. A list contains dash and dash list items. Answer. Ordered and unordered. 5. The subscript option places the selected text slightly dash baseline. Answer below. B. Answer in one word. 1. The process of altering the appearance of font in terms of size, color and themes. Answer. MS Word Style. 2. The option that places the selected text slightly above the baseline. Answer. Superscript or subscript. 3. These are the special characters. Answer. Symbols and shapes. 4. The command that allows you to discard the most recent change. Answer. Ctrl Z. 5. By default, undo and redo commands appear in this toolbar. Answer. Quick access toolbar. 
C. Write T for true statements and F for false statement. 1. The outlook of a paragraph cannot be changed. Answer False. 2. The redo command reverses the most recent change made using undo. Answer True. 3. Press Ctrl U to apply undo command. Answer False. 4. A margin is the amount of space between the text and the edge of the page. Answer True. 5. The default page orientation is landscape which is horizontal. Answer False. D. Take the correct answer. 1. In the word dash helps us look up for a suggestion of a word. A. Header. B. Footer. C. Thesaurus. D. Drop cap effect. Answer. Thesaurus. 2. A tool that helps you draw objects on your document. A. Font. B. Shapes. C. Symbols. D. Margins. Answer. Shapes. 3. Page size can be changed by clicking on dash tab. A. File. B. Insert. C. Design. D. Layout. Answer. Layout. 4. Dropped and in margins are two options of dash. A. Margins. B. Drop cap effect. C. Paragraph. D. Insert. Answer. Drop cap effect. 5. The information which is added to the bottom of each page. A. Header. B. Footer. C. Symbols. D. Shapes. Answer. Footer. E. Answer the following question. 1. Write the steps to apply styles to a paragraph. Answer. Choose the text that needs for meeting. The style is applied to the entire paragraph if you place your cursor within one. To sample a style on the home tab, point to it. Click the more option if you don't see the style you are looking for. Choose a style. 2. State the difference between header and footer. Answer. A header is the top margin and a footer is the bottom margin of each page and is helpful to separate section from the main document. A footer is text that is positioned at the bottom of a page, while a header is a text that is positioned at the top of a page. Usually, details about the document such as title, chapter, heading, page numbers and creation date are inserted in these spaces. 3. What is the use of the drop cap effect in the word? Answer. A huge capital letter known as a drop cap, sometimes known as the dropped capital, is used as a decorative element. At the start of a paragraph or section, a drop cap is often two or more lines in length. 4. What do you mean by subscript? Answer. A subscript is an integer that identifies a specific array element. Abbreviations related to computers, phones, programming, subscriptions, superscriptions, typography, and word processors. Example, CO2. 5. How can we set the page margins? Answer. On the Page Layout tab in the Page Setup group, click Margins. Click the margin type for the most common margin width. Click Normal. You can specify your own custom margin setting. Critical Thinking a. Find the group names in the grid where the following options can be found. Answer. Do it yourself. B. A book publishing house wants to write the name of their company at the bottom of every page. Suggest to them the way to do it. Answer. Write the firm name in a document with the formatting you want it to have. Choose the business name. Press Alt plus F3. Change the text in the name field to a brief Miniomic for your business name, such as the initials of the organization. Pick auto text from the gallery drop down menu. Team Work A. Collect the information on the photosynthesis and make a product on MS Word. Answer Students will do it themselves. B. Write the equation of photosynthesis using subscripts. Answer Do it yourself.